Hi guys, today was the last day. Um, we did the uh, first day course. Um, we did um, uh, what things um, would you find in a uh, first aid kit. So um, some of them was like bandages, um, sterile eye patch, plasters, gloves. Um, safety pins, um, gauzes, uh, what else? Yeah. Scissors, sorry. Um, first aid checklist kit, um, uh, tape, like, um, first aid. Um, teeth. Um, a first aid blanket. Uh, resuscitation. A uh, thing. Can't, sorry, can't read it. It's that small. As they were only um, we we got given card um, cards, so we had to find out. Uh, we had to choose which ones would go in a. First aid kit, but um, they were only they were very small uh, pictures, so they um ha they were only printed on like uh, tiny laminated cards, so it was quite difficult to see what 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 was uh, written on it. Um, yeah, bandages, gauze, um, maybe a tube of grip or something like that. Uh. Then we listed the what's not in it or might not be in it. Uh, like um, a first aid like book or whatever. Um, tweezers might might not be in it, and a definite nose would um be uh tablets. Um, cream like germline or whatever, packets of sugar, um, a notepad, um, an, e an epi pen, and an inhaler. But then we worked on um, the resuscitation dummy. <coughs> uh, we. We had to do um, 30 chest compressions with a, and CPR and then two like breathing things but we didn't do them uh, mouth to mouth thingy on the dummy, we just like went to the side and done the two breaths like that. So that kind of knocked me out because <laughs> uh, I was getting hot. But uh, we did it because uh, we, we had to like uh, do a continuous, uh, so each of us done four, four lots of 30 and two, four lots of two breaths and then the next person had to take over. Uh, then, then we um, had the, uh, like a, a mini def defibrillator. So we had to put that on the dummy um, and it let us know when to ca carry on with CPR and when not to touch the patients as it was like charging to give it a, a shock. So, um, tiny, tiny picture. So that was the mini defibrillator with, uh, and the wires. So, um, that was the, um, I don't know what you can see, it says uh, 30 and 2 at the top. So, um, we also learned about um, people with um, ID bracelets and stuff like that on, or a necklace or a tattoo. Uh, the only place you can have a tattoos are the upper chest and the uh, the wrists. 
Everett Medical. Um, and some people will have, will have um, a bracelet on to say, do not resuscitate. Um, so, um, and when not to, um, we learned about how not to um, move the patient because you could um, cause more injuries. Um, when they went, went to actually, and when to actually move the patient. Um, if the if you say like if you're on a bed uh, and you're doing CPR, that won't work because it'll you you'd just be bouncing up and down. So you need to actually move the patient onto the floor and not where then not where there's any metal. Um, we also did a, a test run of uh, someone choking. So each of us had to play um that part. We had we had to wear the same like red red thing, like vest thing. Um it had a pad on the back to um right right there. Um and uh, a what's the name on the front, like a bottle thing with a little um yellow thing in it. So uh, when when um, we did the uh, how sorry I'm putting a uh, thingy. Uh, you did um, ha, ha, how um, hello ha, ca, uh, junior, um, are you okay? If they say no, um, just say do you want my help? Say if they say yes. Say, um, ca uh, can you cough? To say no, so you bend them over, um, put your hand, put one hand there, bend them over, and you push up when you're doing the uh, the slap on on the the pad on the back, um, five times, and then if that didn't work, um. You do the upper um, abdo abdominal thrust, which used to be called the behind the maneuver. So, um, and we squeezed the bottle, and this yellow thing popped out, and um, the life was saved. So, uh, so um, that's a little diagram of it. Uh, the thing um, being chucked up. So, uh, <coughs> also in the in if the person is injured on a road or something like that, uh, and there's um a, an accident, um, you find out how many is uh, injured or in the accident or whatever. Um, next was uh, uh, we had to each play a part of um different different uh, scenes like um say like if you if you if you had a a knife a knife. Um, wound, um, a um, like your bones sticking out or something like that. Uh, we had to do the bandages and stuff like that, and how to do it. Um, well, oh, um, as well the um, uh, begins with a take on. Think of it now. Hang on. Uh, Tourniquet. So, um, you use that to uh, like the uh, stop the blood from um thinking, and you um you 
then um, tie it off uh, with the knot on the top. So you go, you put it on, then loop it up, um, tie it tie it on the top of the bandage, not the skin. Um, then use a, a a pen of some sort or a, a a thin object or whatever. Put that on the top and then tie it again, and then um you twist it uh, slight, uh, slightly until you you feel the uh, resistance, and you release that every three every three minutes to allow the blood to uh, go back, I think. Um, yeah, so the first one was um, a knife wound, the second one was an op open fracture, the third one was um, the hand, the uh, fourth one was the tourniquet, and the fifth one was hem. Static, um, and the fifth, uh, sixth one was direct pressure. Then we did the uh, the slings. So the the I think the hand one was um, yeah. Oh no! You put the uh, the go uh, like the uh, uh, sorry, uh, like a um a, t a towel or something or um a cl something in the hand and then you bandage it up, making sure it's not too tight to um so that your your thumb can still um move around and whatnot. Uh, Is that was uh, the hammer stuck? I think was um, the the one where it, you push the thingy in the hand or something like that, um, until you can't push in it anymore uh, of the bandage, and then you wrap it wrap it round the hand. And direct pressure was um, put a. Um, a cloth or whatever you you've got um on on the arm, uh, then ba banded some of it and then put another cloth on uh, again and they uh, banded that up and that'll be direct pressure it'll come up like look like a big lump on your arm. Uh, and then we did the slings where you sling the arm up. Uh, as if it's broken or if you've broken your shoulder or something like that. So we've done that as well. Um, uh, the CPR on the dummy kind of wiped me out because I was getting a bit hot. But um, yeah, then we, uh, we uh, the tutor they uh, viewed each each one of us. Uh, do it doing the um sorry excuse me when we actually did the um each one she came round and viewed it um and said whether whether we did good or bad or whatever or or whether it wasn't good enough so um and we did the um putting putting people in the recovery position. So we put the hand up like that, then we did the um, thingy, so it was like um, ha hand, toothache, P for the, uh, P, P was for the leg going over to uh, the recovery position, so that's how the tutor uh, did it. Um, so it kind of goes, we, we, we each had to um, do the... Um, the victim or whatever so um of a uh, each thingy but the tutor they had done it first and then we had to do it so that 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 was me being the uh, victim and the tutor um
bandaging me thing hand up so that was um the knife wound one uh, we did, didn't have the uh, we didn't have a toy knife or something like that so we used a a um an empty epi pen or the pretend or the pretend one so we were just like hold it held, held it in my hand and she bandaged it, bandaged it up so and and then uh, we had to um like levitate it to um stop the blood thingy and so yeah then we did did a, a questionnaire um at the end um and and answer them answer them by um circle on the uh, the answer like a b c or d on each question so uh and i'm happy for you um to tell you that uh i did well and we all passed so i'm i'm so glad uh forgive me if i di didn't uh, remember all of what we were learned today but uh i um i did try my best uh um, in between uh, when the tutor was talking, I did have a um, a bad tonic uh, seizure where I um, could hardly breathe. So my uh, support worker uh, talked me through it and um, was there for me. So uh, I'm I'm thankful of that. So uh, just um totally wipes me out afterwards like uh, when, when I get home I was totally wiped out anyway um, a bit after the uh, CPR because it was making me hot so um, sorry if I repeat myself a bit um, but yeah I'm glad I did the course I'm glad I stuck it out and I'm glad um, I've uh, done everything including the, uh, the first day course um, I'm glad I passed so um, Thank you to um, the tutors, um, Craig and um, for the, the the written ones for, for three weeks, written work, and uh, thank you to um, Anna. That was our tutor today. She made it. She made it um, good, um, and uh, she made it. She made it fun as well. So we had a bit, we had a bit of a laugh while while doing it as well, which was which was nice. So um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up by hitting the like button. If you are new, please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell to get any new videos what I upload. Uh, please leave any comments if you have any, and. Feel free to ask any questions and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching again. Bye.